Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am sharing a card where I am using the magic picture changer and the add-on. I started with my background and therefore I first I cut a piece of Nina using the basic rectangles from Mama Elephant so that I could have that stitch detail as well as the perfect A2 size for my panel. To create this uh, magic picture changer, I let myself be guided by Marine Simone. Um, she has some amazing magic picture changers uh, that she made uh, in the last few weeks, days, it depends on when you're looking. Um, but truly, just start with a panel and start blending on top of it. And afterwards, when you are adding everything together, it will flow into each other like nothing and I really liked it so I tried it myself and I'm so happy with the results so I can only recommend watching her magic picture changers because because of her I tried it again um, so here I'm using my distress inks being stormy sky and seedless preserves I'm just trying to make a purple background because I want to create a sort of night sky but I don't want to use the the regular black and blue and colors that I'm normally using so going for purple this time I'm splattering some water on top of it and I will also add some liquid stardust from Long Fawn to just get that shine going in my background Next up I am continuing with my stamps. I really wanted to use different mouse images so I took the Superstar mouse, the Merry Mice for Chibitronics, then the day those three stamp sets all got some mice on top of it uh, without um, carrying anything so I took those and I stamped them out onto Nina 110 with my Gina K Design Amalgam Ink. And then I am going to color with my Copic markers. So for the coloring I am putting the caps on the side so that you can see which combinations I am using for each image. Um, I started on this mouse using first the lightest color, then the darkest, going back to the lightest. But you can also start with the darkest, maybe a mid-tone and then the lightest, it's just how you prefer it. Here I am first doing the darkest and then I'm going lighter. But there are different techniques and you really just try everything and maybe there is one that you think oh that's the best then you just keep going with that one uh, but I try to change my <laughs> my ways uh, sometimes to just get to know the both techniques um, and get better in them uh, but for the rest of the coloring I will put on some music and I will be back after all the coloring is done
I use the matching dies to die cut each element and then I will continue with the part that will be moving. But first I am die cutting all the images. For the magic picture changer, I decided that I wanted to go from a regular night sky with just some small stars to one where there is like a shooting star passing by. So I first started out stamping some of the tiniest stars and then I took the dies and I die cut it f six times out of this uh, full stick post-it note and then I am adhering it onto these stars. In the past I always die cut it on the lines uh, but I saw at Maureen Simone that she used the matching dies and actually I truly like the white border that you create this way uh, because the images that I die cut also have that white border so this way it matches more. Um, so I went along with it. I am doing exactly the same as I did for my rectangular panel, so I'm using the seedless preserves and then I'm splattering some water and also some liquid stardust on top of it. Next I am removing the marks and then I am laying this piece aside to dry after I also colored in the stars. And then I can continue with the other part of the magic picture changer. I'm doing exactly the same as with the previous part. And then I will lay it aside as well to dry. Now I can start die cutting all the elements for the magic picture changer and then I can start with the assembling. So on this largest, larger piece there are some score lines but I like to reinforce them by going over it. Um, so that I don't bend too much over to create my um, my magic picture changer. So I'm adding some score tape, really thin score tape on the inside of these flaps and also on the outside.
making sure that there is enough space to move the other part. So now I am removing the backings and I am adhering these two pieces so that there is a small way where the other piece can move. I'm using my powder tool to help me make it easier to keep the mechanism going. And I am just popping all the pieces in and now the mechanism is working. Using some more of my powder tool and then I will close this mechanism. Making sure that it is lined straight. And I'm testing whether it is working or not and it works. So now onto my panel again. Something that I learned from Marine Simone is that when you take this panel and you die cut the add-on on the top of this panel, you will have that smooth transition that you are looking for when you are creating a scene with this magic picture changer. And here you can see that, so it will just run through. And that's what I really like about it. Now I am adhering it on top of this picture changer. And now I am just cutting down that panel so that I can assemble the full card. So here you see how I am going to place it and you can see that the top is just flowing uh, with the different sort of colors that I used. It just continues all the way. So I'm using some foam tape, uh, scotch foam tape uh, to add those sides because the picture changer is a bit thicker and this way it will also be smooth. The leftover piece that was inside of the add-on I am using to get that arrow out of it so that it matches the background.
so now I am laying out my design because I'm going to cut a grassy border uh, but I need to see how high I should make it so to keep that stitch detail I die cut the basic rectangle once more out of a scrap piece so it's not a full basic rectangle and then I took the grassy borders from long form and I die cut it Now I am first going to add some distressings on top of this as well. So therefore I am using the mild lavender and the spoon sugar. I decided to add some seedless preserves as well um, on this grassy border with some splatters uh, because the mild lavender wasn't that visible. Uh, so I just took the same purple as in the sky and I splattered it. And then I ran a bit too fast. I already adhered this grassy border because I was really excited about the card that was turning out. Um, so I forgot to first stamp out the sentiment. And then of course you have the issue that your card is getting really thick and it's really hard to stamp out the sentiment um, in this case. But I tried it using my Misty, uh, but you will see that that didn't work out. Um, it wasn't stamping all the way, so in the end I decided to create another grassy border, a bit smaller this time, to overlap the failed attempt of getting the sentiment on this one, um, as well as keeping in mind where all my images were going. So for that border I am doing exactly the same as with this one, but I'm first stamping it out before I am adhering it.
while I was working on this proxy border, I realized that when I used the mechanism, that there was like that white piece peeking out and it didn't match the rest of my card. So I die cut that smallest piece of the magic picture changer once more to just cut out that small rectangular piece at the top and I did exactly the same as on the grassy border as well on this little piece and then I'm just going to add it onto, can you call it a neck? the neck of um, the magic picture changer you will see what I mean but um, I'm just going to adhere it with some liquid glue um, and that worked much better uh, I will also turn out to make that triangle from the arrow uh, the same way uh, but that I did off camera uh, but that will be for later in this video uh, but th this way it will all match with each other and I really liked that I changed that For the images I am using a combination of liquid glue as well as some foam squares from scrapbook adhesive and um, I will also add a bunch of stars from the superstar stamp set. Um, I colored them off screen, it's in the same colors as the stars in the moving mechanism um, so that was a bit much to show. Um, but I colored a lot of them so that, that I could play with them and add lots and lots of stars. Um, you will see that next. Um, but yeah, then my card will be finished after also adding that arrow that I talked about previously. Um, but that's it. So I really hope that you like this card design. I really like playing with the Magic Picture Changer again and that because of the way that Marina Simone uh, showed me how she does it, that my scene is also just continuous uh, in the colors and that's just amazing. So this was my video, if you have any questions please leave them down below. I am truly appreciative of you all stopping by, uh, thank you so much and I hope to see you next time, bye!